Hello, today for review I've got Hybe W5 uh, Bluetooth receiver developed by, so, by Hybe. Of course you know about company, you know that they are famous for creating really good software for many personal audio players and also they created few really good uh, players so they have experience both in hardware and software so no surprise that they've created a pretty good solution in the Bluetooth receivers world. Uh, the thing is uh, that they've implemented their own audio codec UAT. It's uh, available only on limited devices, but you can get it on any Android smartphone using the hi player. And of course, uh, it's, uh, this codec is supported on their own players and as far as I remember, KN players also support it now. At least N6 Mark II. And uh, that codec allows advanced bandwidth transfer more than 1.2 megabits per second here used the uh, latest uh, Qualcomm chip uh, for the Bluetooth receiver so no surprisingly here sub supported all modern codecs aptX HD uh, AAC sub band codecs so, so LDC of course so it's certified it as high res audio wireless and uh, as a digital tonal converter here used uh, ES9218, so it's also pretty advanced in terms of used uh, digital tonal converting chip. So here is receiver itself, as you can see. This package is simple transparent plastic, not probably the fanciest solution, but at least it's cost efficient. Inside you will also have clip so let me get it out so clip is only an option here so if you need it you can attach it and you can detach and actually this one is spare so if one will be broken you will have another one also charging case that's it. Charging case in silicone. So you can remove the silicone if you don't like it, but as a protection, it's present. Pretty nice USB cable, USB C here used, and warranty card, manual, battery life, and so on. So, actually, about battery life, uh, it's uh, more than five, hour, five hours on low gain and three to four hours and on the at high gain. And actually, that's true, I tested it and it's about that. Like, at least four hours on the low gain and about three hours and a half and a half and the, at the high gain. But, of course, it depends on codex and uh, with uh, LDC or aptX HD or that uh, UAT you will have less and uh, also this case of course has built-in battery so it will give you about additional 15 hours of work so totally it can work for about 20 hours of course in that, that's in the optimal conditions when W5 was first announced appeared a lot of jokes about adult toy and uh, fun thing that in real life actually it has a vibro engine inside some kind of tactic engine so these associations are even closer to life besides that actually design is uh, pretty stylish it's futuristic and uh, he Hybe went even a bit too far in this fut futuristic design so as you can see it has nice ergonomic oval shape and uh, here is microphone hole, headphones input, contacts for charging, and actually that's all. No con no buttons, no controls. The only control button located here and it's a sensor button. You just tap it and it woke up. So before you... Also there is a LED indicator, kind of circular ring, and it flashes uh, 
dark blue or red. So before uh, working with W5 you have to read manual because all controls are done with tabs and you need to learn to what means two quick tabs, uh, three fast tabs, how to turn it on and to turn off. For example to turn it off you have to tap one, to double tap and hold. In this case it will be powered off so it requires some usage to be performed properly. But after some usage it will be okay. From the other point of view it that uh, controls allowed Hebe to make here IP67 protection. So of course it's not the gadget for swimmers but any rain, sweat or dust uh, particles won't be an issue for it. Back panel has this glossy metal finish, looks pretty stylish. And another small drawback is that uh, this device can be charged only in the inside of the case, so no, uh, it's impossible to use it uh, while it's charging. But anyway, it's pretty convenient. You open the case, you put it inside, red indicator starts glowing, probably it won't be visible in the video, and you close it and that's all. Also here is three LEDs indicating the charge that remains in this case. Anyway, let's grab it back. So of course I'd like to see volume control buttons here, maybe some dedicated play pause buttons, but we've got what we've got. Uh, so I really like its design, I really like that style besides of, besides of silly jokes. It's really convenient, you can hang it to, to your collar or on your wrist somewhere and you can connect it to the smartphone. Of course you can use Hibi own player also, or they also create a separate uh, Hibi Blue application to update firmware, to check the gain settings, there are two gain settings, it's really powerful device, you know, it's capable of outputting 80 milliwatts for 32 ohms load per channel and it's pretty huge for such a small bullet-like device. So no issues with uh, software controls, of course they've created a pretty efficient and convenient application, but of course you can just use Hybe player and not install that Hybe blue, but it depends on what you want to do with it. And here is that uh, Hybe blue application, I decided that I need, I have to show it to you. So device name, active codec uh, and sampling rate, connection quality, battery status, and few additional settings. So you can change the indicator light, you can lock this touch button, you have to double press it and hold to unlock. Then function that is called find W5, you turn it on and it starts vibrating instantly. So you can, you can find it and you can use it for some other things beside music. You can turn this vibration feedback off, uh, you can change this du feedback duration, change volume gain, channel balance, equalizer, basic equalizer, just five bands, but it's better than nothing. Fine tune volume and adjustment, you can select the volume change step and tune it, uh, because different smartphones has different volume settings. Notification tone means that uh, voice uh, assistant uh, language, it's English or Chinese. Uh, firmware upgrade if it will be available, it's no available uh, up up upgrades now. And that's all, you can change the name here and here is additional developer settings. So it's audio codec you can select here, sample rate, bits per sample and for the LDAC and UAT you can change the bit rate. So if I select LDAC, here I can change LDAC rate settings. If I turn the UAT, it's UAT settings. And of course about the sound. So here is W5, some some in ear monitors and Hybe R6 Pro that will work for us as a source. 
First thing that I'd like to mention, or for first thing I'd like to declare, actually this uh, UAT codec definitely improves the sound. When if you enable this codec, you will definitely hear the better treble and more layered mids. Actually, the part that suffer most from the Bluetooth compression. I don't uh, know what uh, codec is that UAT. Actually, Hypey has some explanation and even charts on their website, but I didn't uh, dive deep into that topic. But anyway, it's working. It's really, you know, it's a really plus. It's a really on positive side. On the negative side is that uh, this uh, codec heavily uses uh, Bluetooth bandwidth and uh, actually it's really prone to interference and when you using 2.4 megahertz Wi-Fi, you almost uh, definitely will have some shuttering and some noise. Without uh, Wi-Fi and without uh, much electromagnetic interference around you, it will work. But uh, if there are a lot of uh, so a lot of interference around you, probably it could be not uh, working good. But uh, Luckily, we've got tons of other codecs and aptX HD and LDAC is working really well also. But of course, if you don't select uh, LDAC, the, the, uh, the more quality option, I usually suggest using the balanced. LDAC has three options, so connection quality, sound quality and some option in between. I don't remember how it's called, but actually it usually gives you the best result in terms of connection stability and in terms of sound quality. Uh, what else I could say? Actually, when you're using aptX or AAC codec, you can get more than 10 meters of work range, especially if your device supports Bluetooth 5.0. Actually, Bluetooth 5.0 greatly improves the connection radius. But uh, let's go back to the sound and actually, uh, in general, W5 is a bit fun colored device. It has slight accent on the low frequencies and slight accent on the upper mids. Actually, of course, it's not uh, accent that is done by frequency response. No, it's not like equalizing, but it's just a bit of added energy. So, bass here is uh, pretty good. It has normal resolution. Of course, it's not as resolving as some wire depth. And of course, you must understand that deeper layers of bass will be simplified, not because of this device, but because of Bluetooth codecs themselves. Actually, UAT fixes that to some degree. So, deeper la layers of bass will be simplified, but mid bass and uh, upper bass is pretty well controlled. Resolution is normal, texture, texture representations are also pretty good. As an example, for the bass, I've got main main titles from American Gods, really nice and energetic track with nice groovy bass line and uh, W5 plays it in a really enjoyable way. Mids are a bit actually not recessed, but uh, bass and treble are a bit uh, highlighted and actually mids stay on their place. So they seem to be a bit recessed, but no big issues, you know, not that sense of vocal moved somewhere behind or some instruments, no, it's just uh, mids are played as is and actually they are also resolving, no, fo no focus on the micro contrast, uh, of course, uh, it's just a Bluetooth device and for such things you will definitely need a wired connection. But anyway, resolution is nice, it uh, sounds pretty emotional and pretty natural. So, what else I can say about mids? Imaginary stage is about average in width and bit below average in depth on the LDAC and the PTX and uh, with UAT depth improves a little bit. As an example of mids, I I've got Marvin Gaye, Save the Children, you know, usually I do, don't use this track uh, with wireless receivers just because Marvin's voice is full of overtones and it's full of emotions and usually Bluetooth receivers just can't do that and actually W5 is probably 
better than others but of course for that uh, for the to get the full potential you also have to use that UAT codec and that means you have to turn off the Wi-Fi and so on and treble you also treble is the part that suffers the most from the wireless connection usually treble is a bit synthetic and a bit simplified and also of course it's present here once again, it's not because of W5 itself, but because of wireless connection. And once again, UAT can save the day because with UAT it's the best wireless treble that exists now. Of course, it, if your environment will allow you to do it. And as an example, it's Whiplash soundtrack Caravan, that tune that actually was the cornerstone of this movie. and. Of course, it's full of cymbals and uh, crashing head, hi-hats and all other um, percussion stuff and it requires nice treble and also that's another track that I usually don't uh, usually use as, a, as an example for the wireless uh, gadget, but in this case I can do that. Of course, it's still a bit simplified, it's lacking extension, but at the same time at least we've got normal resolutions and uh, pretty natural lifelike attacks and decays. So to summarize everything, nicely sounding, pretty powerful and uh, actually the best sound with UAT codec, but of course it requires some additional pre preconditions uh, to use it, but anyway, even with aptX and the LDAC codex, it's still really enjoyable and nice sounding, but of course, in that case, wireless connection will uh, take its price. And a uh, few words about compressions, actually I've got just one device in this price range, it's uh, actually it's not even in this price range, it's cheaper, it's uh, Fios uh, FIO BTR3 or actually FIO M5, I think they are really close in terms of sounding, M5 is a bit better on treble, but anyway, they are really close. So on the UAT codec, uh, W5 is better, so be better deep bass, better control of treble, so it's better. On the LDAC, so if we put them into similar conditions, let's say so, Actually, here you will have a bit better mids and uh, a bit tighter lows and uh, on FIO you will have a bit more resolving treble, but actually there won't be a huge difference. So to summarize everything, Hybe made a really good device, stylish, really good looking and uh, of course, I miss uh, hardware buttons a little bit, but sound isn't good. Uh, additional UAT codec is also nice. Forgot to mention the quality of the microphone. It's normal, but not for the noisy environment. In noisy environment, you will need something with two microphones, preferably, of course. Price is $110. It's a bit more expensive. Actually, few soon will release BTR5 and uh, we'll see what they offer there. I think it would be more logical to compare devices with from the same price segment, we will see. But meanwhile, probably W5 is the most advanced uh, Bluetooth receiver in terms, in terms of uh, technical capabilities and in terms of advanced codecs. Thank you for attention.